Now consider the next question. We are given with the potential field in a graphical way and we are asked to plot the electric field that too in a graphical way. My dear, we know the relation between E and V. E is nothing but the minus gradient of V. Isn't it? But before that, check out the given graph of the potential field carefully. On the horizontal axis, x is taken, x coordinate or distance x is taken and on the vertical axis potential v is plotted. So 100% I can say that my dear, this potential v, potential field v is a function of x only. Isn't it? It is only the function of x. So by taking gradient of this, because electric field is the negative gradient of v, yes or no? So we can easily take the gradient. You have to know how to take the gradient. Just recall the basics. So you can easily take the gradient of V. While taking the gradient, you can stop only after taking derivative with respect to X because our potential is only the function of X. So there is no need to derivate with respect to Y and Z. So as you can see from the screen, to get electric field from this potential, you just need to derivate this potential function and multiply that answer by minus 1 because E is the minus gradient of V. So as you can see from the screen, for getting E or more technically the X component of E as you can see from screen, you have to derivate this function with respect to X because this is the function of X and after taking derivative, you just need to multiply by minus 1. Now you must be known with the fact that in 2D geometry derivative of any function dy by dx is nothing but the slope of the curve, slope of the graph. Yes or no? So what I am trying to convince you is that for getting electric field from the potential function you need the negative gradient of V. Negative derivative of V. So first of all you will find the slope of the potential function, slope of the respective segments and then you will multiply with minus 1, you will negate it, isn't it? So to get the electric field graph from this potential graph, you just have to find out slopes of the various segments and then just negate it. For example, consider the part of the graph, part of the potential graph from 1 to 2 and minus 1 to minus 2. You can easily observe that my dear. The potential graph in this region, the potential graph in this range is parallel to horizontal axis, parallel to x. That means its slope is 0. Isn't it? Remember the basic concepts of math. The slope of these segments is 0. So my dear 100% you can draw electric field for these segments to be 0 because electric field is the negative of the slope. So the electric field for these ranges will be 0. Now consider the potential graph between minus 1 to plus 1. Let us find the slope of this part of the potential graph. You can easily observe from the figure my dear. The segment from minus 1 to 1, it is passing through two points that is minus 1, minus 40 and 140. Yes or no? It is passing through two points. You can easily observe that. So you can easily get the slope of this segment. Of course, using two point formula for the slope, you can easily get the slope for this segment as 40 and the electric field in this range negative of the slope is nothing but minus 40 volt per meter. Isn't it? Similarly, we can get the slope of the potential graph segment from x equal to minus 3 to x equal to minus 2. You can clearly observe from the figure my dear. This segment is passing through the points minus 3 comma 0 and minus 2 comma minus 40. 
So again, applying two point formula for the slope, you can easily get the slope of this segment is to be minus 40. So of course, electric field in this region, electric field in this segment will be minus of minus 40. That is 40 volt per meter. And on the same pattern, you can easily find the electric field for the remaining segment. So you can draw respective segments of electric field below the respective segments of potential field and you can easily plot the electric field graph from the given V graph.